for me, this movie is including a lot of philosophy of life, like、mm. how you feel about how you thinking about a relationship. Hi everyone, I'm Nick, director living in Taiwan. Hi, Rady, I'm Luke, I'm cinematographer living in Taiwan too. Yeah, and today,、uh, this month, June, the month of June is ending. June, as you may or may not know, is Pride Month, so celebrating gay rights,、oh, yeah? uh, LGBTQ rights. Cool, cool, cool.、Uh, yeah, right. So I picked a movie called Dear X from say, 2018. Yeah, 2018. 谁先爱上他的 And the plot of this film is quite interesting. But before I talk about that, I think it's worth talking about how that、um, Taiwan has a lot of really great queer cinema. Yeah. Like. I think it's very advanced in、um, in Asia in this way that you guys will deal with this theme、uh, very、long、head on ago, and long yeah. yeah for a long time. There's a long history of queer、yeah. movies coming out of Taiwan and yeah, dealing yeah, with yeah. this issue.、Yeah. And Taiwan is actually the first country in Asia to legalize gay marriage. Yeah, it's our pride. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's really great. And yeah, so proud of that. Personally, I think that probably has something to do with the fact that through the movies and through the media, you have. Talked about this issue for so long, so in popular、uh, popular kind of mindset of the culture,、yeah. it's not such a taboo topic.、Yeah. So、uh, this film is about a a man who dies when he's alive. He he breaks up with his wife to go live with a man,、mm-hmm. and when he dies, his family finds out that he has left all of his money to his lover and not to his son and his family. No, it's not. Yeah, so so his wife is pretty upset because not only did she get cheated on, and his, her husband left her for a man, but he also <laughs> is not giving her any of the money. Yeah, how、uh, she used this as an excuse to kind of, hey, I want the money back, but、right. in, deep in her heart is kind of like, I want my husband's love back. Yeah, she's more upset about the. In reality, she's more upset about the the infidelity and the fact that her husband didn't love her. Yeah, I think this film is quite interesting because it's like a drama comedy. It's something that I think Taiwan films have gotten very good at. They've gotten very good at kind of these、um, main. It's kind of like a mainstream film that is very that I think is very watchable and、mm-hmm. very、um, audience friendly. I think anybody who watches、yeah. this will really like it. Yeah. And it's also a drama, so it deals with some kind of very heavy issues like cancer, you know, gay rights, gay, gay rights. acceptance, and then also, but adding a lot of humor to it in order to kind of get、uh, deal with these in in a very watchable way, so that audiences will feel okay to kind of confront these、mm-hmm. kind of、uh, very serious topics. This is more of a mainstream kind of film. Yeah, you can、right? still have. A lot of entertainment in this movie.、Yeah. You can have laughing, you can have joy in this movie. The people singing, the people are dancing,、yeah. and also the 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 way they talk, they act is kind of really funny. Yeah,、know? yeah, it's、Even、very it's, over the top. Kind yeah, of. Yeah. So when you watch this movie, you will definitely feel some joy in this serious topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They added in these kind of like animations. Yeah. To the to the film that give it this kind of very modern. Feel, but it's still not taking too much space with the film. When you first see this kind of technique in the film, you feel like, oh, it's an animation movie, or、right. it's a, it's a, it's a kind of mix up, like half and half. It's a a correct character which is an animation,、right. but it's not. It's, it's just, just a little extra. Just a little extra, a little funny in this movie. Yeah, yeah. Like the the way they use the animation will be, there'll be a scene where the kid. Is kind of arguing with his mom or something like that, and and then he'll think that he won the argument and he'll like draw like a little crown on his head or something. Just little kind of extra jokes that they use with the animation, which I think、yeah. add a lot to it. But they don't、uh, they don't overdo it. They don't. It doesn't become the whole point of the movie.、Yeah. So a- as well like the、um, the colors they use. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed or not, but like the a lot of the colors are very. Unrealistic in a way. Yeah, really p- colorful. Yeah. In terms of the 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 scenes, the the scene settings. Yeah, exactly. The clothing. Yeah. You feel like oh, this guys and、uh, this this area, this 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 house, the the living room is pretty joyful. Yeah. You can f- definitely feel this guy is funny. This guy is pretty. Uh, have passion in his life. Yeah, yeah. But even outside of just the way they set the scene, also the way they. 
um, the way they, just checking to make sure we're recording, <laughs> <laughs> the way they, uh, they even color graded the film, like there's a couple scenes where they're out in the street and I've, you know, I've oh, lived yeah. in Taiwan for a long time and I know that the colors of the lights don't look like that yeah, on the yeah, street, it's not, it's but not. they're like purple. There's some like scenes where the lights are like purple and red mm -hmm. and kind of flashing and it's just the normal street lights, but they kind of color graded it to give it this kind of, kind of ultra realistic yeah, 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 kind yeah, of yeah. Sh strange feeling. For me, this movie is including a lot of philosophy of life, like mm. how you feel about, how you thinking about a relationship, right? Yeah. For me, the most important job, the character, could be the child. Sure, yeah. Because he kind of angry and wanna really want to figure out why his daddy lives. Yeah, leave lead. It so. qu happens quite early in the movie. He leaves. He gets upset with his mother, and he moves in with with uh, his father's old lover. Yeah. Who kind of yeah, like you're saying, he's kind of trying to use it as a way to understand his dad. Yeah, kids could be even more mature than an adult. <laughs> yeah. So the uh, the screenplay of the film was written by a woman named Mag Su, and then another another woman as well. Yeah. Two women. Liu Si Yuan. Yeah. But uh, Xu Yuting is Xu Yuting is a pretty famous, and you can tell she has a lot of experience because I think, like you were saying, there's a lot of pretty themes good. that are explored in this. This film is only an hour and like forty minutes, mm -hmm. but there's so many different kind of themes that they cover within the film. You have uh, a son's relationship with his mother, like mother son's relationship, yeah, uh, kind of the the infidelity. They also talk a little bit about how do you connect with somebody who has passed away and died. Mm. Uh, they talk a little bit about, you know, how, how do you, is it right to hide your feelings of love for somebody else? You know, accepting who you are. All these different things are in this story with, with this relationship with, this, with these people. Mm -hmm. And she fits it in in a way that it's, there's so many things that she's talking about, but it never feels like, too too much, you know. It's not. It's still focusing on the main. It still focuses on the main plot, main plot of it, but she is able to talk about so many different themes just through this one plot. I think it's quite impressive. Yeah. Because as a scriptwriter, I think a lot of times the tendency is, oh, I want to talk about this, I want to talk about that, but then it feels like your script has too too, too many. Too it's many going things. too many ways. But she is able to talk about all these different issues, but make it all make sense yeah. and it gets you to think about a lot but it you never feel like there's too much going on in this story no it's not it's still pretty clear yeah in yeah, this, yeah. In the, movie. the acting was is very impressive like you said this kind of fun comedic style but also they can hit the drama when they need to hit the drama so these actors are quite impressive the woman who plays the wife won for the, gold, the golden horse golden Award. Award, the best i trust yeah so the taiwanese oscars she won best actress um, I think everybody was nominated, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. So the acting is fantastic. If you wanted to s see the, I mean, the acting for me is kind of wow. They, they are so natural. Like they just not, they are, not, they are not making lines. They just talk like normal. L yeah, like real people. And uh, the energy, the emotion, through their dialogue is so fantastic. And you, I mean, it's really not common to watch in Taiwanese movie uh, with okay. this brilliant acting. Uh, okay, okay. Because you know sometimes you if you write a sentence in Chinese and you say say it will be a little awkward because uh, we don't okay. normally say it with this way. But the way they speak, the the way the the, the, the scriptwriter write the dialogue mm. is fantastic. So Dear X is available right now on Netflix. Yeah. I, it's possible it's on international, but if you go to the Taiwan Netflix site, you can find Dear X. It's uh, only an hour and 40 minutes. Definitely worth watching. Super Very worth. enjoyable movie. Um, and pretty fun. Yeah, pretty funny as well. And uh, deals with a lot of queer issues, a lot of issues about death, a lot of issues that are very uh, important and mm -hmm. will help you think. So... So hope you enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> if you want us to review any movie, uh, please write a comment down below. Subscribe to our channel and we'll get you next time.